I'm on the east shore, the Sea of Galilee, and we're here to talk about the topography of this place. Behind me is a very steep cliff with lens to the fact that perhaps this is the place where Jesus had come over in Mark 5 from the other side of the lake and met a demon-possessed man. And so this demon-possessed man said there was about 2,000 spirits in him and they were called legion. The spirits pleaded with Jesus that they could enter the swine that would have been feeding on these hills. Now that begs the question, why were there swine, pigs, here in this area? Because the Jewish people in the Torah, swine or pig is an unclean animal. They wouldn't be eating it, they wouldn't be sacrificing it. Why? Because this is the Galilee of the nations, the Galilee of the Gentiles. And in fact, behind us here is what they called Decapolis, 10 Greco-Roman cities. And so there were many Gentiles here sacrificing pigs on their altar and eating them. And so when that all happened, who is it that ran away? It was the owners of these pigs, which were likely not Jewish people, because Jewish people would not have been hurting these pigs. That tells us the man who had the demons, he likely wasn't Jewish, he was Gentile. And so right from this story, from over there, there was Jews, around the area but there were also gentiles and so that always comes back to the point that jesus came yes to the lost sheep of israel but his sacrifice was for all it was for jews and gentiles that we would all know him and what did jesus say to the man that was now cleansed and in his right mind he said no you stay here and share the story with all the people in this area and give glory to god it's even believed that there were many believers now in Jesus in these parts, in the Gentile part, so that when the time came when believers in Yeshua were, were being persecuted in Jerusalem, that they actually fled here and actually became a part of a community of believers in this place. So isn't it wonderful to know that Jesus knows the end from the beginning and he's, all, he's placed us all in a particular place at a particular time because when he does the transforming work in us as he did in the man with a legion of demons, that that in itself is a testimony of his greatness and his power. So just be who you are, humble yourself, let the Holy Spirit do the work in you to become more like the person of Jesus Christ. And that will give all honor, glory, and power to the one true God, Yeshua HaMashiach.